What happens when the child becomes the parent and the parent treats them like a romantic partner? Emotional incest, also referred to as the daddy princesses and little princes syndrome, is a dysfunctional relationship dynamic where the parent often relies on their child for emotional support, advice, reassurance, and love like they would their spouse. Although it has the word incest in it, emotional incest doesn't necessarily involve physical sexual abuse. It can, however, go into sexual territory. Here are some signs that you've been subjected to emotional incest, not simple parental closeness. Excessive reliance. Do your parents go home and immediately unload all their problems on you? Do they constantly ask for your advice on topics that seem too mature for your age? In the first stages, you may feel empowered and proud that you're being treated like an adult. That is, until you realize that you can no longer do your normal activities because your parent has become wholly emotionally reliant on you. This psychological inappropriateness, according to the FHE health writer Christina Robdova, is the definition of the term emotional incest or covert incest. Envy Having an emotional incest type of relationship with your parent shows when they demand your utmost loyalty. According to mental health writer Courtney Teloyan, they may display excessive jealousy when you spend time away from them. This may show when you spend time with your other parent, your friends, or simply time alone. This can stifle your growth as a child and as an individual. Neglect Guilt plays a huge role in emotional incest. In an example by Healthline writer Crystal Raypole, when the victim feels guilt, they may feel the need to prioritize their parent in all areas of life. You may set your daily schedule around their needs, do almost all the housework, constantly listen to their problems, and provide reassurance when needed. By doing these things, you may not realize that your emotional and physical needs are already not being met. Sexual undertones Although emotional incest doesn't involve explicit sex, mental health writer Courtney Tiloyan states that it can go towards sexual territory when your parent constantly invades your privacy, talks about their sexual experiences, spends time with you in the nude, comments about your body in sexual ways, and more. Please talk to a trusted individual or seek professional help if you relate to these signs, as it could potentially lead to physical sexual abuse. If you've read the manga Chi no Wadachi, with the English title Blood on the Tracks, you probably have a good idea of what extreme emotional incest looks like. Spoiler ahead, if you haven't read it, skip ahead to the timestamp indicated. This psychological horror thriller manga depicts an overprotective mom who goes to horrific lengths to protect her son and keep him by her side. She invades his privacy, forces him to talk about intimate details, and kisses him in a non-familial manner. The son develops a speech impediment, which is a common result of emotional abuse. Due to a lack of research and criteria, a 2021 study from Turkey created the Childhood Emotional Incest Scale CEIS, to help assess adults' experience of childhood emotional incest. It is divided into two sections, the first one about parental treatment and the second one about unsatisfactory childhood Childhood. Emotional incest may happen due to numerous reasons. According to Healthline writer Crystal Raypole, it may be a result of fractured family dynamics, learned parenting styles, and cultural and social economic factors. For example, countries like Turkey and the Philippines have cultures where it's ordinary to discuss daily struggles with children, favor loyalty and dependence over independence, and see children as future caregivers. This can make emotional incest more common. But relating to some of the signs doesn't necessarily mean you were subjected to emotional incest. Parents are humans and also need support when times are rough. However, even though relationship lines can become blurred, family and marriage therapist Kathy Hardy Williams says emotional incest is still child abuse because it can lead to neglect. It can also give the child feelings of shame and mental health concerns whilst having difficulty establishing a sense of self, developing friendships with peers, and building self-esteem. On the parent's side, they're also avoiding the chances of building healthy friendships, relationships, and romantic partnerships. Recognizing the signs of emotional incest is crucial for breaking free from the cycle of dysfunction. Remember to seek professional help and support if you can relate to these signs. You can also click on 5 signs you've been emotionally neglected in childhood to know more. Thank you so much for watching, see you next time, and remember, you matter.